Has a cool little breakdown on how to run ethanol in your car. So that was my hotel right here. I'm staying at the Embassy Suites out in Hampton, Virginia. It is 5:30 p.m. right now, and we we're about to go hit up the beach. You know, I haven't been out here on this side of the world, so taking you guys on for a ride. So this video pretty much I just want to talk about how to run ethanol in your car. You know, for those of you who want to run E85 in your ST, RS, or other vehicles, I'm going to break down some, some rules, you know, so you guys can like pretty much determine what to run. All right, a lot of questions that I get is, Ayo, can I run full E85 on my car? The answer is yes and no. I know that's not the answer you're looking for, but let me break down the answer for you. So first of all, the ST and the RS run high pressure fuel pumps, which means they run high pressure. And these fuel pumps, they tend to get lubricated with gasoline. Gasoline has a lubricant property within it that pretty much just lubricates the high fuel pressure pump so it doesn't burn out and dry out. Now, when you run full E85, you take that property away. It no longer has that lubrication property that gasoline has now because of that you run into an issue you'll no longer lubricate the high pressure fuel pump which means you're gonna most likely prematurely wear it and can possibly damage the high pressure fuel pump and you know you'll have to replace it at some point unless you buy one that's fully capable of e85 then that's a whole different story the only positive is you will no longer have to mix e85 with gasoline you can just pour it straight into the tank and forget about it negative you know you're gonna have to replace the pump at some point because you're drying it out that's what i'm too believe it or not on our cars you can run about e50 e60 and get the same performance as if you were run it as if you were to run full e85 so what's the point of running full 85 if you're not really going to gain more power than e50 e60 you see what i mean the only benefit you're getting out of it is not having to mix your fuel. So for those of you who are running E30 and want to run more E, but you're just full bolt-ons or about to be full bolt-ons, and your tuner says, hey man, you can't run that higher, that's because the more ethanol you run, the more fuel you're pushing out. So for example, if you maxed out your fuel pump at E30, you running E40, E50, your car won't be able to support it because you're now maxed out on your fuel pump. It can't push more fuel. So you're pretty much fucked. You know, like you can't push more fuel with E40 or E50. At that point, you'd have to run some kind of port injection in order to push E40, E50. By that time, you know, you might as well throw a bigger turbo and shit. Build your block. So that's kind of how the, the picture of this is, you know. You want more E, you can't because your fuel pump can't push it. It can only push up to E30. You get port injection, you can push up to E85. But why do that if you're gonna damage your fuel pump? You're not gonna make more power than E50, E60. So that's pretty much where you stand around that conversation. Now, best way for me personally to mix my ethanol, I highly recommend you get an ethanol content analyzer. I can't stress this enough. You know, I know a bunch of guys who just do the calculation on an application. They go to the station, they fill up four gallons, they throw the rest in gasoline. Two months later down the road, they're having ring issues on their fucking engine because they print them up and why i don't know maybe because they're trying to run something that's not really true you go to a station that says e85 but when you actually physically test it it's e60 so you're putting e60 which will require more fuel to throw in so it can actually get you to e30 e40 and when you do that you can actually do damage to your motor 
So run the ethanol content analyzer, follow the calculator, pour it up, don't go hard on the car, wait for it to mix, you know, pull up the app, because it's, um, it's a Bluetooth app, then it tells you how much E you have. Once you run the app, it'll tell you it'll be like at E30, E40, and then fill up accordingly, you know? Don't fill up all the way till your car's full. Like, you about a, maybe two gallons empty. So if you need to add a little bit more E, you have enough to add more E to get you up there to that sweet spot. Or if you put too much E, you can put gas to where it puts you in a lower, more safer zone where you can run it. So that's my personal opinion for that. Another thing also is, if you guys run into an ethanol issue, where you overfilled it with E and you can't get it down because your tank's full, don't panic. Just drive normal, you know, don't step on it. Because the more you step on it, the leaner you're gonna run, the leaner you run, the more issues you're gonna have. And then you might come to me and be like, hey, you know, I'm running E60, but I'm tuned for E50, but my car feels faster at E60, why? So to tell you the truth, the leaner you run, the faster the car's gonna feel. You get more power, the leaner you run. A lot of people don't know that, but the leaner you run, the more stress you put on your piston rings and on your engine. So don't run leaner, that's bad. But yes, you'll have you'll feel faster. It's better to run safer and fastest as possible so you guys can do as many pulls as you can possibly want with causing the least amount of damage. So with that being said, guys, you know, if this video helped you guys out, explain a few things, well, I'm glad. I'll attach all the links below in the description if you guys have anything else let me know if you guys enjoyed the video please like subscribe hit that notification bell as soon as i get back to california you already know alex said we're ready to tune on e85 and hey i want to check your guys whips out too so put your instagram below and i'll make sure i'll follow you guys and until next time peace